Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, it has been about six... Six full weeks since I played this game. Um, I remember where we are. Also, you have to pardon my surroundings. I'm currently in the middle of moving. Um, <laughs> uh, which is part of also why I've left this uh, for six weeks. It's also why my beard is very long. Um, at some point, I will have a... Let me boost this a little bit. At some point, I assure you, I will have... I want more. Oh, that's good, actually. Um, I will have a different background surroundings. Um, I could use this to hide that, but I won't. Let's view this episode, then, shall we? Um... As you're seeing this, you'll just be seeing it in, like, you know, a semi-regular order. So I don't think I'll need to catch you up. Baldio, I'm only going to ask you this once. Did you eat the plums I had in the icebox? You shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. <laughs> Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? But it worked. People. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. Oh, uh, you can really hear the, the either Cam Clark or Robin Atkins downs in this voice. I'm talking about Galia's future. Because he's doing the crazy liquid snake and or Robin Atkins downs Master Miller giants. thing. It's Alicia, our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. You're wrong, though. That's enough. Escalating the conflict is the only way to survive. But still, you're both very wrong. All right. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. 24 hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. I guess it makes sense. I would imagine shooting somebody, even non-fatally, would be... worse. I like her hustle. Um, but yeah, I completely disagree with uh, Vulcan. Yeah, I bet. I bet the things have been upgraded. Thank you. Um, updated, rather. I disagree with Welkin. Like, our current level of power does not have us winning this war. Like, I know that canonically the protagonist and I win every battle. But actually, the protagonist, I have not won every battle. Because some of them we've just survived or ran away from. And also, people died. And, like... <laughs> you you kind of need to at least match the opponent, you know? Especially since we're so outnumbered. We need to play smarter. And, like, some of the generals are like, let's just rush them with our superior numbers that we don't have. Like General um, Jake the Dog. I forget his name. I guess I could check out that updated personnel tab. <laughs> Thanks to the victory at Nagyar, our forces have pushed the enemy back to the border. Cool. The Imperials are currently holed up in the Citadel at Girlendio. Girlendio. I wonder if there's a Conlang here. Like, I'm just thinking about, like... Dio, like, Girlan Dio and Faldio both have similar fragments in there. I wonder if there's anything there. Dio, of course, in the real world means God. It's the Italian word for God. From the Latin Deus. A crucial checkpoint along the commerce routes tying Gallia to the east since medieval times. The pass at Girlandio had been fortified for ages. Yeah, I think Wilkin is should speechify when people are not in our lands. <laughs> the during the first War. Like there are and still people actively occupying before. our territory. 
I, I'm sure I've said this in the past, but getting the occupiers out of your territory is almost never a morally incorrect thing to do. In the current war, it housed the Empire's command center. And now it stood as their final stronghold. Also, I read a little bit about this where people are like, oh yeah, they used the Valkyria as like the, the nuke equivalent because it's World War II and, you know, the nuclear option is always a thing you got to talk about. What's our In the same way you always got to talk about the Jewish Captain. Holocaust. Um. Hmm. I still haven't received any details on our orders from above yet. Well, let's make up our own. Oh, stop Damon. worrying, Verat. I came here myself to give you your orders. That's what I meant when I said Captain or General Jake the Dog. I didn't remember his name. General Damon. I'm honored, but why not just send a messenger? Your regiment really showed him up out there at Nagyar. <laughs> In return, I'm granting you the honor of assaulting the Citadel at the Van of the Army. I don't know what that Van of the Army means. Sir... Here are your orders. I think this is a, uh, I think this is a... We're sending a train car hmm. loaded down with explosives along it to blow us an entrance. Backhanded promotion is the thing I'm looking for. He's like, oh, you did so good, we're gonna send you in to get murdered. The militia will run along the track ahead of it, flipping the right rail switches. Okay, that ought to be fun. Flipping rail switches, sir? This, while dodging a hailstorm of bullets? That sounds like a suicide mission, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the perfect challenge for your fearless crew. Yeah. If we succeed here, the Empire will finally be forced out of Gallia for good. Okay, well, it's only chapter 15, and I think there's like 18 chapters. You'll pave the way for the real army. You got that, Barat? Yeah, you're pretty transparent here, sir. Damn it. Another mission they don't have the guts to do themselves. Who are you? <laughs> oh, his model's so bad. Also, his name is first name Galleon and last name Officer. Maybe. Why? <laughs> but it's a mission that somebody still Why isn't it do? just a character? That could easily be Largo. Precisely. <laughs> what the hell? The said, <laughs> Why does he look like that? The Empire will be driven out of Gallia. Let this be our final battle. I'll await good news from the field. Dismissed. Oh boy. I'm gonna double check. All right, yeah, I just double checked. There is in fact 18 chapters, allegedly. Though the same thing is like, actually there's 19 chapters because the thing takes place in chapter zero, zero. But like, whatever. There are like, <laughs> I don't know if I count that. So yeah, um It hurts. Mother, where are you? Hey! There's a survivor here! It's too late for the mother. Come on, we've gotta get the child out. Now Is this gonna be the tragic backstory of mother. Captain Emperor Fascist? Sorry. Your Grace. <laughs> Look guys. He had a bad childhood. That incident grows old and stale. Silvaria, what news have you from the front? Sire, they seek to push our soldiers past the border, and the total of their forces approach those of our own. I thought we were outnumbered. The advantage now begins to sway towards the other side. Is it like just the guys we have there and the guys we have there? Oh yeah, I guess they are kind of fighting attritionally here with me. this would be over had I but won at Nagyar your grace grant me another chance I beg you no I'll just pull out our other superhuman Do warrior woman to sire. fight for us hmm. that's the thing He's he's got to make sure she wants it enough you know do you truly wish to be of help Yes, more than anything. From the time you saved me, Your Grace, I've known that I love you more than I do my own life. The pauses are insane. Sire, I want to work in the service of your dreams. 
No matter how many women and children I have to mutilate to get there. So, Silvaria, you report that the strength of our opponent now matches our own. Also, is the fact that the Western Front are also kind of salty? Down upon them. Use the final flame of the Valkyria. Okay, I guess that's the nuclear option that they they mentioned in those forums. They mentioned it because like the storyline does treat Valkyria as like a nuke, and like I've even already seen it of like, wow, we have our own. Should we use these? Mark the inauguration of our rule. Mm. Farewell. Is she going to join our side when we save her? Or is she going to for real real die? Hmm. Hey, man. I'm not one to point fingers here, but like, you said, I love serving you, then I love my own life. And he was like, okay, kill yourself for me. Well, <laughs> what else should he do with this information? This is simply one of a number of scenarios we'd planned for since before Nagyar. I still, I love the fact that he has capitalized, uh, uh, plural pronouns for himself. If her prowess as a Valkyria is insufficient, Selvaria's uses quickly narrow to one alone. Well, on the other hand, Selvaria's only been riding high because she's a normal Valkyria fighting normal humans. And as a result, she's a direct step above. But she has no practice fighting Valkyria. Whereas, when a normal human ascended to being a Valkyria, she at least had practice fighting one Valkyria. In fact, it was her. Um, I don't know what I'm saying here. I, I guess I'm saying that if you gave her a chance, she might be able to learn to fight more Valkyria better. Anyway, there's a messenger here for you straight from Castle Randgreeze. Hmm. So there is. Let him wait. I have no time for simple messengers now. Is it Damon? We are set to commence Steel Operation side. Steel Side. Jaeger, prepare to return back east. Dude. What? Then it's... The Marmota's finished? It is. I guess that's their big super tank this time. The upgrade to the uh, Batamus. The Galleons are hasty to assume victory. We shall see them gutted yet. Got it. I'm sorry. Roddy Yeager is still a cool guy. I don't even remember the other dude who was a, a part of their unit. Like, he was introduced and then killed so quickly afterwards. Like, we got, like, two or three scenes with him. We got the one scene where he was a cool guy, but, like, Roddy Yeager survived Roddy his here? battle with us. No. Still no Alicia, boss. Right. Well, let's start. Hmm. <laughs> I already heard from another squad. We're prepping some tracks for a bomb. That's right. It's a rough one, but this is a critical mission. Ah, uh, this is the militia. We're used to getting all the bum missions by now. I just, I don't know if I've commented on this before, but Largo's chin ass is, is obscene. That thing's crazy. With that settled, there's one question I gotta ask you, boss. <laughs> Alicia's Valkyria powers and all. You plan to use those this time, too? Last time we only got a taste of them. She was her own faction, and we didn't get a chance to control her, so that would be cool. No, Largo, of course I don't. Why? I have faith in your natural abilities. Who needs Valkyra when I've got you all? You might need something thousands of pounds lifted or another Valkyra fought. Good answer. I'd expect no less from you, boss. I... We're ready for anything out there. <sighs> After all, this could very well be it. There's... Okay. There's a thing in, in Japanese media versus American media. America being the only country to have ever offensively launched a nuclear weapon against another country. And Japan being the only country to have been the victim of a nuclear attack... Obviously, they've ended up with really weird, um, I mean, I say weird, but uh, very different opinions on nuclear weapons. And, like, I kind of feel like this is the, the, the Japanese author writing nuclear weapons stuff. 
except Valkyra are not nukes. <laughs> like, they're precision weapons. They're, I don't know if this is just me going off of what I read on that forum without, you know, and, and it's coloring my own opinions, but I really feel like they're just so against the idea of using a Valkyra because it's too powerful, but the other side already has them and has happily, willingly used them against us. Yeah, we're fine. You go be with Alicia, boss. She needs you real bad right now. She needs you in the worst of ways. All right. You all know what you're doing. Wait, is this a is this a no welkin battle? But does he? This is a tough one. Even for nature boy. <laughs> Having Alicia and the boss moping around is a drag for the whole squad. <laughs> I hope for everyone's sake they can pull out of this funk real soon. Big cutscene. Alicia. There oh, I'm getting are. excited. What's up? Have you been kneeling here this whole time or? Look at this, Welkin. Guess what? I found some lion's paw growing while I was out on my walk. Oh, that's nice. There's a minor thing. I, I think of Alicia's hands as being this huge. Like a real gentleman. Uh, well, thank you. But I don't actually think Alicia's hands are huge. I think normal anime characters, especially anime girls, have tiny, tiny little hands. And her hands are just way more proportionate. They said it was Baldio. Is it true? Also, she does have thick gloves over them. Then when I... When I walked through camp before... Some of them got down on their knees. Like they were worshipping me. Not like. The Valkyria. The God child. God hyphen blank is cool in almost they, every use of it. God child is God especially cool. Me. I'm fond of Godhead myself. I mean, what am I supposed to say to that? Lol, comma, Lamau. Kind of life can, can I live from now on? I wish I knew. Open a demon hunting business? You got the white hair and red eyes. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guess that was pretty heavy. Here we are, right before the last battle, and I'm not helping things one little. They've bit. said last battle Don't so many up. times, and I know sorry, that there are 18 chapters, yet, dude. There's no way. For duty. My mind is focused on the mission. See you later, boss. Maybe the last few chapters will be really lame fights, you know? Like this is going to be a big knuckle like knuckles down drag out battle and it'll be super crazy and hard and stuff. But maybe it'll be a thing of like God, where is the fight? Is it 6B? Or is it this? It's either 5A or 6B or this, just based on the size of the of the inset. Also, I haven't commented on this, but here is your mission brief. All right, I guess it's the mission. Um, I had assumed that that cutscene was supposed to be private, just shared by those two. But allegedly, we're reading the book written by Irene Kohler. So was she there and taking pictures of it? Enemy is bracing and waiting for our attack on the Citadel at Gerlandio. Before we can storm the gates, we need to pry off the lid. Blow in the front gates. Roll a car loaded with explosives to the gate and detonate it. Trip the three switches along the rail. There, as you see here. Push your way forward and hit each one in turn. Activate each switch. Approach in action mode and press the A button. Nice and easy. Uh, they'll be shooting at you, so watch for mines. Put everything you learned in your mission so far to work on kicking these imps out of Gallia for good. Cool. Oh, yeah, I've totally forgotten that, like... Almost always, 20 turns is a game over. And let's put a sniper in. Well, 
Should we take out Edie, maybe? Let's put Jan there, and let's put Homer here. <sighs> if there are no questions, I'm getting excited. By the way, um, you may have already noticed this video's runtime, but I've been planning to cut the episode shorter than I usually have been, just because there are three switches to recording Valkyria Chronicles away. is kind of a lot. <laughs> Move out. God, that huge super armored gun looks radical. I still love the, um, the, like, it's a very simple, very basic effect, but I love the effect of... Foot soldiers, mortars, tanks, you name it, they'll be sending it all at us. Stay calm and just get from switch to switch. All right, soldiers, move out! Okay. Let's use our sniper. Just to, just to look at things. Target sighted. Okay. This is a minor thing that I, I fucking love, but in a lot of things, sniper rifles will just be used as a binoculars, and they'll just have the, the rifle in hand, and they'll pass it from person to person for use as binoculars. And I love that. You're standing. Oh, but you're behind a gun. You are just a trooper. New prey sighted. Oh, we got some stuff down here, too. So, Edelweiss is substantially more secure, I'll say. This place is insane. Enemy sighted. Oh man, the mortars. Now. Take that. I'm hoping that this is going to be one of those things where it's like a deceptively easy mission. And then we get a crazy hard mission. Okay. My turn, okay? Let's throw... So, is this going to become mechanics in any way? Like, Enemy sighted. at any point, is Alicia being a Valkyrie going to come into play? Like, if she gets shot and killed and maybe dies, is she going to... We have, a, we have almost like a three-lane like lineup here, like a MOBA. We have a visual on the Citadels. Don't you worry. Don't even think of dodging. Cool. Yeah. But bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I still have a life lead on him. I'll go ahead and back out. Skip the rest of the turn. Let's me. throw the shamrock into here. Okay. I can't see where they're firing from. Be careful. Can I trip these mines and not get taken down for it? Watch out for landmines. Found us an enemy. Why? Ugh, pathetic. Pathetic, Zaka. Been waiting here. I'll send Largo around here to reinforce this. He can't do anything yet. Well, maybe. I could try putting him up further. Um, you got it, hon. We'll send Jan around this way. We can leave our other scout and... Die for me, sweetie. Damn it. Oh, I took the thing down, though. That was a <laughs> that was kind of a funny manner in which he laid down there. Um, hmm. Let's do this thing. Let's throw Rosie over here. Okay. 
No contest. Just try dodging me. Go down. This guy's not doing good for dodging today. Cool, that's one down. I'll leave her here. I feel secure. Oh, there's that tank. Get ready to die, Imps. Then again, I could perhaps... Maybe this is crazy here. I could perhaps use our remaining two points to slide up one of our tanks further. Well, I hit it. I don't think I'm going to actually get anything for it. Like, I feel like they'll regenerate that back. But I could... Leave a tank, like just use these points to move this tank up further. Here we go. I think I will. Hmm. We could take this out or take this out. Let's get rid of this guy's armor. Fire. And by armor, I mean his barricade. And now this tank has seen us. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see what crazy bullshit the Empire pulls out on me. Mm-hmm. Stealthy. Sneaky attack at the start of the second round. A little grassy knoll over here. Underminer fire. Fine by me. Homer can reach me in a single turn. <laughs> Dude. If, the, if these people just spend their turn on that, then, like, honestly, that's kind of funny. Damn. I, I said, I literally said, I feel confident about leaving Rosie here. She'll be fine. She could have died in one turn there, and I would have lost a command point. <laughs> Dead in your tracks. Oh, he's trying so hard. Bank in the last one. I'll watch out for it. Okay. My body's yours to use. Still not there yet. I don't want to be alone. It's okay. Open fire. God, I just forgot the shoot button. Thank you. It might be possible for me to get to here. Uh-oh. It's okay. I'll move the tank up and use that to reinforce. Okay. Squad seven, please continue your advance. Damn you. Well, I am locked down here at least, which is good. I could try getting back there though. Ooh, and there's a sniping tower, too. I've spent my turn... Well, I've spent my, my shot, so maybe leaving myself here is good. Where's your health at? Bad? Fine by me. You'll be okay. This supple tank butt calls to me. If this doesn't kill, I'm going to 
put another turn into him. Oh! That's good, but it didn't kill, so I do need to put another turn into him. I will do that momentarily, though. Um... There you are. <laughs> Ferret hit him out. Now we'll run over his body for extra damage. Certainly sucks to suck, doesn't it, Imperial? Hmm. I'll leave it here. Park that thing. Marina needs to be moved up. Distracting. Damn. Left her face down in the mud. Don't get pinned down. Fire back. He's got a command point on him. You are just a guy. Cool. I like that, actually. The thing is, is that, like, I don't want to spend a turn to kill this dude, because, like, look at how low he is. If he spends his turn, he's going to get lit up. You? Sure. Damn. Oh, I love Ofu. Hell yeah. Sorry, honey. Man down. Everybody be careful. Cool. Um, hmm. Watch me dance. We could use Frisia to kill this guy. And also trip the switch. It'll take two to kill him, but let's make sure those two don't miss, huh? Pure platinum. Thank you. Oh, shit. Well, we got her up here. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let's uh let's push with you. Okay. Run this guy over. Those are bullets, so I do not worry about them killing me. Can I run you over? No, it's indestructible. Oh. Damn. Have we spent... We have. Let's move Largo up. And then in the tradition that I've been uh, using. What is the enemy up to there? You're done. Nice. Um, I'll let the enemy go while I'm not recording just to speed this up All a little. Right. Nice. Down, All right. For everything else, he should be covered by Shamrock. And then we'll just move Jane up. Maybe if we can get Jane close enough to shoot... Watch for the mines. Shoot this Lancer. Stop them here and now. Damn, really? Mm, scream for me. All right. Die, die, die. Yeah, he's just taking chip damage. <laughs> Worthless. Um, that'll be the episode, though. Thank you for watching, everyone. I've been Alfred. This has been uh -huh. Valkyria Chronicles. I've had a good time. I hope you did, too. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.